to Jordan Tower with JT News. The 50 Cent versus Jimmy Henchman. Okay. Mm-hmm. He called out Jimmy Henchman. He's calling a rat. This has been an ongoing thing for 10 years. It stems from Jimmy Henchman representing game. Correct? I mean... That's where the whole thing stems from. I'm sure there's more to it than that. Yeah, guys. yeah, but... But that's definitely the uh, the gist of it. That that that's a that's a major part about it. I think it had something to do with his past as well. But that was really like yeah. Uh, he was part of the GU not campaign, mm-hmm. really campaigning against Fifty Cent, uh, and then this led to the 2007 incident where Jimmy Henson's son got like beat up, and then two years later, allegedly Jimmy Henchman put a hit out on Lodi. From Matt, uh, Lodi Mac from G Unit, he got killed. But Jimmy Henchman was already in jail, being part of some big drug ring, an eleven million dollar drug ring. He got arrested yeah. for. Then but the got... funny thing with that Lodi Mac um, situation, mm-hmm. that's how I met Tony Yayo. You did. Tony Yayo was like, because I was in front of G Unit, yeah, and shit. We was in front of G Unit and shit. For DVD, we was getting a. Uh, interview on um, Tia, Rick Ross' baby moms. Okay. We was, at the time, the only people I was giving her press. Right. You know, I guess nobody else wanted to touch it. Okay. You know? And to make a long story short. Yeah. So, yeah, yo, he didn't want to get out the bulletproof truck. He, okay. like, he was looking. Yeah. I, you know, we had all red on. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, he like, damn, that's probably gaming. Okay. You know, gay people's. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some black Wall Street dudes. Right. It took him 10 minutes to get out of his truck. And he said that. He's like, yo, I was wondering who your dudes are. Yo, who are you? I'm like, yo, I'm in Rap and Paul's DVD. He's like, yo, what's so crazy? Mm-hmm. You look like my guy that just passed. A loaded Lodi Matt. Okay. So, that, so me and Yayo got the building from there. So, you know. Okay. So, we got, let's, let's get into the story. Let me break it yeah. down for them. Okay, so, uh. Jimmy Henchman is going to receive a new trial, I guess, on that murder for hire from 2009, um, which is, you know resulted in Lodi Mac dying. Okay, a Second Circuit appeals court judge granted Roseman a new trial due to the actions of a Manhattan federal court judge at the defendant's 2014 trial. But Fifty Cent thinks there's more to it, posting documents to Instagram. That seemed to confirm henchman's status as an informant. Okay, so you know 50 Cent, he's always going to keep that foot down on the throat. Oh, he, you already he, know he that. Leave, keep, the first image he posted um, was, let me let me link it up for you guys, okay? So so we can get that going. Uh, let me get it up for you guys. Boom. Okay. It says... Spooky out here. Real spooky out here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got... It's a, It's basically something calling out Vlad. Now, he called out Vlad. Why did he call out Vlad, Rec? He called out Vlad. Hold on, we're going to go right to it. 50 basically said, here's the paperwork on the OG Rat Jim. Vlad, you scared of that fool? Here it is. I have it up. They can look yeah, at it. Said, it says, here's the paperwork. 50, yeah. Cool. yeah. Saying 50 called you a rat. So 50 right. like, read the paper, fool. Now, He's he, been telling since the 90s. Now, here's the thing. Since okay, the so Vlad did an interview with Henchman, which called 50 Cent. You know, they, they talked about that whole thing. And 50 Cent reacted to this interview. And this interview has since been deleted from Vlad TV. Very spooky. Spooky. Okay, spooky. so, so spooky. He, he said, here's the uh, paperwork on OG rat. Jimmy Vlad scared of that fool. And then, he, you know, he's, he has this paperwork of calling him a rat. And they put the rat signs up. And that the paperwork says, uh, it had, uh, for some reason, 50 Cent had to throw in the Rolls Royce key into the picture. You know, he had to stage it. <laughs> that was, it was funny, right? You said, notice the Rolls Royce key sitting right there in the paperwork. Definitely, you know he got a stun a little bit. So he said, "Damn it, man! Got his girl helping him rap. You can't make this kind of shit up." Shaking my head, Jimmy, 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 go to sleep. And this is like, thank you for the court's indulgence and allowing me to approach on this matter. Just simply because I don't know who's out there, and I don't 
want any aspect of the fact that he he tried to cooperate to make uh, then it says dot dot to be made public. I don't I don't know what that means. I ju I don't know everybody who's in the audience. Uh, then it says a uh, judge at the sentencing and hearing in North Carolina, a jail official from the Vance County Jail, testified at the hearing that. Mr. Roseman, while he was in jail, had learned of an escaped attempt by dot dot. Learned that mm. four inmates were planning to escape from jail. He contacted his girlfriend, fiance, who was in the court today, and had her call the jail administrator at the Vance County Jail and report the attempt or the plan. They immediately uh, whisked Mr. Roseman into another room and found that there were were in fact plans to escape by four inmates. They had begun to either dig out of the cell or something to that effect and had made changes to the dot dot. There were some changes made to the fence. Okay, so basically he dimed out some of his cellmates, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's another paper that says uh, that's just the first in a series of acts that he has undertaken and to demonstrate his rehabilitation. So they're basically they're trying to say that he's rehabilitated and you know he, he's willing to cooperate with the authorities, okay? Mm. So 50 Cent's basically, you know, got that paperwork out there. He said, so now you can see who Jimmy is. He's been telling for a long time. Now, if you keep talking, I got some more of this shit to show you. He's running his mouth. Mm. Now, 50 Cent doesn't let up. Shit crazy. He doesn't let up, man. So let's not forget about the infamous Tupac Jimmy Hinchman beef. Oh yeah, go into that. Yeah, you know, you know it's, it's crazy. Jimmy got history, man. Mm. You know. Yeah, Jimmy's been in the game for a long time. He was even on uh, some show uh, where, where like murder some suspects or some some shit where he like mm. gangsters, you know. But and I think Jimmy Hinchman, he had uh, exec positions at labels. Mm. Manager of game. Like, you know. So. I don't know exactly where the, uh, you know, I guess he dimed out some people in this $11 million drug ring, too, to, like, ease up his uh, trial or sentence or something like that. I think that's another reason why 50 Cent called him a rat. He just, I guess he's just giving people up to decrease his time that happens often with with trials you know? yeah i don't know what's going on i just he has if you have a personal it, problem with 50 it never it. goes away let's just put it that way right yeah.